24 hours after we prepare our cell builders, we remove the graft frames from the second brood chamber. We take them inside and we do our graft. So now I have our frames that have been grafted into. We place them in the shade, we keep them covered in a damp cloth so they stay nice and moist. And then with little or preferably no smoke, so as not to really disturb the hives, we take the feeder off. We take the queen excluder off. It has the pollen patty on it. And then we can take one of our graft frames and place that down in this box that's just packed full of bees, lots of young bees in there. So they've got all the resources they need to feed those young larvae, royal jelly, and make them into queens. We'll leave that graft in there for 10 days and then we take those cells out and introduce them into their own colonies. And when we take those out, that's the last stage of the, uh, the cell builder process. We do this, uh, the cell builders uh, prepare them on a weekly basis and graft into them each week. This graft bar doesn't come out until 10 days after the graft, so there is an overlap of a new graft frame and an old graft frame for a short period uh, in the middle of that, uh, that schedule. It all needs to be uh, scheduled, written down on a calendar, and so you make sure you do everything on the day that you're to, supposed to. Uh, this cell builder, May 18th, we got 35 out of 45. May 27th, we got 35 out of 45. June 2nd, we got 40 out of 45. June 9th, 45 out of 45. June 16th, 41 out of 45. And June 21, 42 out of 45. So we're happy when we get anything above 40. We're ecstatic when we get a perfect graph. I want to make uh, one point here to prevent some confusion. Uh, at this point, there are two graft frames in the upper part of the cell builder. This is the graft frame we put in to be polished in the center position. This is the graft frame that we grafted into last week on a Tuesday. So this Friday, it will be 10 days from when this frame was grafted, and we can take that out, use those cells in colonies, in mating nucleus colonies. Uh, so we would replace that frame with a frame of foundation to give the bees something to work on. Uh, and then there's just that one graft frame in there. So for a period of two or three days, there are two graft frames within the colony.